Today, Michigan State has set its sights on rebounding from the ups and downs of the early season. Impressive wins surround a set of losses that have the Spartans still looking to get back to 500. Now they must return to conference play with a renewed sense of purpose as they try to springboard to a strong finish. And I think it's very important and critical to the rest of our season that we come out, start the game well, uh, play for 60 minutes and finish and capitalize on this opportunity to get our first place 10 wins. week in East Lansing, Michigan, and they have their usual sellout of 72,000 plus at Spartan Stadium. The most frequent homecoming guest in Michigan State football history, the Indiana Hoosiers. And it's the two and two Hoosiers ready to take on the two and three Michigan State Spartans. And we welcome you to East Lansing. Dave Barnett along with Bill Curry. And carries over 100 yards. He gives them a needed element of speed. And a good deep kick by Payne. Sending Herb Haygood back for the touchback. Burke has yet to be pressured. Burris hangs on to this one. And flats it to Burris. Weaving towards the marker. And depending on where they put him out of bounds, he is very close to the first down. Got 14 and did get the first to the 44. Burke, it's time for Gary Scott in a seam and Light Burris finds room to the right side. Scott with a cutback to the 33 of Indiana. 23 yards for the Spartans' second leading receiver, his 16th pass of the year. So on comes Paul Edinger to try what would be his longest of the year. This will be 47 yards with very little, if any, angle. And he has enough leg and drops it right over the crossbar for a 3-0 Spartan lead. Hoosiers from the 21-yard line. And up the middle, a fumble by Marcus Floyd which the Spartans have recovered at the 25. Urban went in motion. Bert drills for his tight end, Brad Rinko. Sixth catch of the year. Right at or maybe inside the 10 where it'll be first and goal, a 15-yard hookup. Brad Ranko, they feel, with the best hands of their three tight ends, showed it there, and it is first and goal from the nine. Urban, lot of room, right side, out of the tackle for a Michigan State touchdown. Um, Michigan State. Michigan State touchdown. Nine yards, 33, Kendrick Urban. those records for just about a decade before surrendering into Ricky Williams. Third down and Randall L will duck and run. Not for enough. Excellent job by the Michigan State defense of staying at home. Here comes Craig Jarrett, one of the real weapons. He's second in the NCAA in net punting. Net punting being the amount that sort of designates where the ball ends up after the punt. It includes the return. One of the most important stats in football. They came after him that time. He booms a big one, though. Graham backs up to the 10. And that's where it ends. Cedric Henry, the gunner for the Spartans, right on him. And that is really tough to do after a 58-yard putt. Hurt his team's field position. Play fake and burst through the air, caught by Chris Baker. Baker, one of the three tight ends for Michigan State, has a 16-yard pickup on just his third catch of the year. Burke again off the play fake. Open over the middle. And, and uh, Lloyd Clemens with a lot of room as he cuts to the near sideline to the 33. That's good to 21 yards. Urban back in. Away from Gasina. 
Close to the first down marker to the 23. I question the wisdom of not accepting that. That would have knocked him out of field goal range. Edinger's going to try another 47 yarder. He made the first one into the wind. This time he's got the wind behind him and sails that one through even easier. Those two, his longest of the year. Seven yards that time. No problem on this pitch for Franklin, except for the fact that he's short of the first down. Franklin. And did he cough it up at the end? He did, and this is a Michigan State recovery by Ronaldo Hill. He is back out, Urban on the face. Burke wide open is Burris, and Plaxico steps out inside the corner. Burke complete to Burris. Bad comparison. Moss, Moore, Urban gets outside. There's the cutback, and Cedric Urban is near first and goal. Spartans at the nine. Great job by number 79, Jason Strayhorn, the offensive center for the Spartans. So Edinger will try this time a 22-yarder with a pretty tough angle. But again, no problem, and he is three for three, and Michigan State takes advantage of the chance to go up by 16 with 8.23 to go in the first half. Short side, Randall L., not nearly enough. Cut down at the 14 after a pickup of one. Lamar Marshall up quickly from free safety where he replaces their leading tackler, the injured Sori Canoe, this week. Don't try something that can hurt you right before the half and you give it away. And they studied the Bobby Dodge book. Garrett has a remarkable match of killing him near the goal line. That one is down at the one, 44 yards. 24 unanswered points by Randall L. and Indiana for an eight-point lead. No time for Burke to go to work through the air, and Irvin stutter stepping near a first down game. Not quite enough for the first, second at about a foot. Burke, wide open target, that will easily, for Gary Scott, be enough for the first and then some to the 36. Hoosiers can just about salt this thing away here. Second down and five. Randall wiped out the cleater tackle if you ever saw one. Well, Spartans have got to nail him shut here on third and five. Randall plays a quarterback draw. Can't get outside this time. The last October win <laughs> over four years ago at Iowa. But that 15-game streak may end here. Slant by Burris, another first down to the 45. Burke, time to search. And there's his tight end, Baker, to the 15. <laughs> Until today, not much of a weapon. 40 yards for Chris Baker. Yeah, he really was anxious to get that play in, get it called, so they don't end up with that, that deadly delay thing with the 25 seconds left. Runs it for the end zone. Switching that scary Scott. <laughs> And this one is an over by a long shot. A rapid fire drive by Bill Burke to get the Spartans within this two-point try of a tie. Yeah, we bragged on Randall L all day. That was a Bill Burke production there. Well executed drive, good accuracy, good decision making. Split back, reset, drop. Burke will keep. Did he get there? Yes.
The call took forever, but it did come. Two-point conversion, Burke. How appropriate that Bill Burke is the man who guts out the tying point. So here's Jay Rogers on third and ten. First snap in week. Sack big time by Robert Smith, who gets his first sack of the year at last. He had 12 last year, had not broken through at all in 98 until now, and what a time to break through. And that will get us to the extra period on the sneak by Rogers. Tied 24-24. Dave Barnett with Bill Curry and Dave Ryan. Nick Saban and Cam Cameron have both seen terrific comebacks. It was 16-0 Spartans, 24 straight points by Indiana, engineered by the since departed Antoine Randall and then the eight-point comeback by Bill Burke Spartans to force this extra period. Rogers obviously didn't make that mistake. So the Spartans with their series. Play action, Burke. Look deep. Wasting no time for Ferris. Caught inbound. they didn't waste any time the only question did Burris get a foot down in front of the back of the end zone he did both officials back there agreed now Edinger has to hit to tie it and he does 31 31 one overtime deep in East Lansing Spartans on the attack to begin this OT. And it's Urban. Cedric Urban spinning. Still going. Touchdown. What a run by Cedric Irvin. That featured all his best elements. Great players make big plays at great moments. Leroy McFadden, number 28, great job out front blocking, and you can't run any better than this. All the fears of Cam Cameron realized on that play. And Edinger is good again. Michigan State. Well, I guess you'd say, Dave, it just doesn't get any more exciting than this. Big Ten football in overtime. Nice little quarterback factory they have working there. Rogers settles short goal with the catch. That's about it at the 28. Both wides on the near side, second and a long 12, and Rogers rolling the other way. To the end zone. Rogers, There's no pick man. Rogers had to keep it himself, and he got buried at the 27, and here comes the last gasp for Indiana. And in the second OT period, this is it for Indiana. Fourth and 12, they have got to get to the Spartans 50. So whatever happens here, Nick Saban needed some support from his team leaders, and he has gotten it today in this second half as they have battled back. For Indiana. And they are one play from a very big win. Rogers over the middle. Incomplete. What a crushing hit against Tyrone Browning to end it for Michigan State. Lamar Marshall, number 29, made a great break on the ball and made sure he did his job as the two-deep safety to secure this victory. Coach Saban can hang his hat on this one. This is tough. Hard fought. Big win.
Real good call here. Four verticals right down the field. This is a catch without the intrusion of Marshall. Browning down the field, bending slightly inside. The ball is thrown at an 18-yard depth just behind the linebackers at the perfect location. And Nick can finally breathe for the first time today. <laughs> Tough day for Cam Cameron. Wonderful day for Nick Saban. And he can build on this. And by the way, Cam Cameron can also build on it because his team continues to come close in tough games, continues to fight hard, and that's what you build upon. They can now say they are three plays away from being unbeaten. They were two plays from 4-0 coming into this one. And that's a whole lot better than getting blown out. Yeah. But Michigan State wins it in the second overtime, 38 31 for Bill Curry, Dave Ryan, and our entire ESPN crew. I'm Dave Barnett saying so long from East Lansing. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.